Uh, I wanted to note that as a consequence of Microsoft's latest Get Windows 10 shenanigan, uh, which has everybody really upset, uh, Graham Cluley, who's been writing in the industry forever, uh, he he wrote a uh, uh, a piece this morning uh, with the headline: Microsoft has a dirty little Windows 10 upgrade trick up its sleeve. Clicking X won't stop your PC upgrading oh, to Windows no. 10. Now we were showing that window. Yeah, you can't just close the window. No. No. Mother and in fact, I'm, I'm going to read something from someone we all know. And I'm not going to tell anybody who it is uh, first. So uh, the title was Upgrade Gate. Microsoft's upgrade deceptions are undermining Windows 10. This author says, for months now, I've complained about the software giant's heavy-handed tactics in trying to trick customers into upgrading to Windows 10. But a recent change to the Get Windows 10 advertisement that is forced on Windows 7 and 8.1 users takes things entirely too far. This is indefensible. Frankly, this entire episode has been indefensible, with Microsoft introducing a non-stoppable, non-hideable advertisement on several hundred million PCs from around the world, and then upgrading that advertisement to thwart those who do seek to remove or hide it. It has changed the language of the ad, made no clear cancel choice available, and jammed it into the recommended updates that auto-install via Windows Update. If you read this site, writes this author, listen to Windows Weekly or What the Tech, you know how bad things are. It's been a constant refrain. And this author writes, well, I've had it. Last week, Microsoft silently changed Get Windows 10 yet again. And this time, it has gone beyond the social engineering scheme that has been fooling people into inadvertently upgrading to Windows 10 for months. This time, it actually changed the behavior of the window that appears so that if you click the close window box, you are actually agreeing. No, you're kidding to the me. Up no. Sons of you are actually agreeing to the upgrade without you knowing what just happened. Oh, my God. Previously, closing this window would correctly signal that you do not want the upgrade. So Microsoft did not change the wording in the window. It didn't make an upgrade now button bigger or a non-existent don't ever upgrade button smaller. It pulled a switcheroonie. It's like going out to your car in the morning and discovering that the gas pedal now applies the brakes while the brake pedal washes the windshield. <laughs> what a fun commute. The violation of trust here is almost indescribable. It's bad enough that Microsoft has been training Windows 7 and 8.1 users, i.e. most Windows users, to not trust Windows 10 because of this horrible, unstoppable advertisement. But now they will not trust their own sanity because all they'll remember is that they dismissed the advertisement by clicking the close Windows box. Why on earth did Windows 10 just install on my PC? Why on earth indeed? Coupled with the growth of clean personal computing platforms like Chromebooks and Macs, and the fact that Microsoft cannot convince its own PC maker partners to not ruin the Windows experience with crapware, one has to wonder, is this all part of some plan to destroy Windows from within? <laughs> I mean, seriously. <laughs> You couldn't write a dumber story about how to ruin something that is otherwise as wonderful as Windows 10. My God, Microsoft, just stop. And for you Windows 7 and 8.1 holders holdouts out there, please feel free to utilize a third-party utility like Steve Gibson's Never 10 to hide the Get Windows 10 advertisement from appearing and prevent Windows 10 from silently downloading to and upgrading your PC. You 
shouldn't be treated like this. Yeah, I agree. But at least you can stand up for yourselves. And that piece was written this morning by our friend Paul Theron. No, I, I could tell. And, of course, we'll talk <laughs> about it tomorrow. So just to be clear, this window is not new. Uh, it's a terrible window to begin with because it says Windows 10 is a recommended update. And you have two choices, the OK button, which will start the installation, and where you right. would normally see a cancel button, upgrade now button. So that's, right. that's the same thing. Well, now, and remember that there was a previous version that had two buttons. One was upgrade now, and the other was upgrade later. Well, that's what OK so does, because OK will do it on uh, later tonight. Correct. Now, here's the Correct. button you need to click. It's not the yep. X button. It's right. the click here to change upgrade schedule or cancel scheduled upgrade. And it's not obvious that you want to click that link, that blue link underneath the date and time. And you, it's not even underlined. No. I mean, if you hit return, it would be okay. The The thing that's upsetting Paul is upsetting, which is in, in every other case, hitting yes. the X would indicate cancel. Yes. They're not even letting you do that. You have to, the only way out at this point is to click here. And then say no. And then never does never 10 stop this particular oh, yeah. thing? Yeah, you don't see this. Yeah, it just all goes away. Yeah. Yeah. So what's interesting is there has been a skyrocketing uh, explosion oh, of terrible. downloads. We're now, we're at, when I looked this morning, a total of 535,000 downloads and we're tracking at at more than 25,000 copies of Never 10 per day. Microsoft's become the Borg. Wow. Resistance just, is futile. And again, I'm Steve. I love Windows Gibson. I, I'm not, this is not anti-Windows. This is this is anti-Microsoft. Yeah. This is like, as That's Paul terrible, wrote, That's you know, terrible. and we know Paul's not anti-Windows, you know. Yeah. In fact, he did a piece over the weekend. Uh, he installed a brand new Windows 7 and was was tweeting through the experience. Actually, it was pretty much all day Friday. Like, I can't believe it's this slow. I can't believe I still have... He says, I'm going to go out and, you know, have some more kids and come back and, yeah. and I'm still going <laughs> to, uh, you know, this thing won't be updated. So we're going to make um, this the twit bit for this show. Patrick uh, Delahanty is saying this in the chat room and I agree, Patrick. This will be our twit bit. And we will put this on our YouTube uh, Twit a Bits channel, which is youtube.com slash twit. So you can link to it. It'll just be a couple of minutes of Steve talking about this, us showing the dialog box, where to click, uh, and the warning. And I think uh, it, Patrick wants to share it with friends and family, and I think others may well as well. So we'll. this is right here, the little snippet well, from security. And, we're and what's up. sad is, oh, my God, uh, there were 232 responses up an hour after Paul posted this. Yeah. And the first three of them were people telling stories like from like oh, yeah. this morning, yeah. getting tech support calls from people saying, uh, nothing works. I I got up this morning and my computer is broken and, and so forth. And one last um, piece to the uh, the twit bit. GRC.com is it slash never ten? Yeah, that'll get you there. Slash N E V E R one zero. The thing I want to really emphasize is Steve writes this in assembly language. It's a few hundred bytes. You download it, a few hundred uh, kilobytes. It's right. It's under. It's a megabyte. Eighty one. Eighty one kilobytes. Yep. <laughs> you download <laughs> it. You run it. It is using Microsoft's approved method, the method that they prescribe prescribe to enterprises so that you know enterprises don't want to see this in their business right uh that makes the the edits that group policy editor would make right uh the Correct. registry changes so as unless microsoft really gets crazy which they could uh this will work forever and you can then delete the program you don't have to keep the program it's made those edits in your registry and you're done it will also Correct. if you check the box uninstall you see that's remove win 10 files but a lot of people don't realize is even before this comes up microsoft has been in the background secretly downloading the windows 10 installer about 6.5 gig of of, <laughs> of windows 10 ready to ready what, to land it's on your expanded, drive expanded it's giant and so that's sitting on your hard drive right now so there's a button on here that says remove windows 10 files do that before you delete the program and, and as and, far as we know, this is not going to ever happen again. If you, once you correct. run this Never 10. 
Correct. Uh, there, with all of the instances out there, there's been no report of anyone who's run it ever being harassed again. And that makes and sense because Microsoft's not going to cheese off their big they enterprise can't. customers. They can't. No. That be... they, 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 it's, it's like on their site. It's, a, it's that page. Yeah. And I'm, I'm actually, the way this has turned out, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for. It's not, again, I don't have anything against people upgrading to Windows 10 if they want to. The whole point is, for whatever reason, people don't. And they should have the right, the right to be able to control that, not to. And essentially, Microsoft is overriding their will. What I'm pleased about is that when the, when the Microsoft documentation first appeared, we talked about it on this podcast, and it was like, you know, your eyes crossed over, like, trying to navigate oh, through yeah. the registry. And, and no and normal user that. should be asked to edit their registry. That's just a recipe for disaster. Right. It's terrible. And so I, I stole a week from from the work on Squirrel because I just thought, you know, uh, this this needs to be simpler. There was that GWX control panel, but it was vi it was hundreds of somethings. I mean, it was big uh, and it was covered with buttons. And I looked at it and try was confused by it's like, well, OK, all I want to do is not have this pop up. And so I thought, OK, I just got to fix this. What I'm really pleased about is that, you know, this Never 10 launched sometime, I think it was like an early in March. And so it's it had enough time to be around and to get some traction so that now in this last week when, when it's really become a problem, everyone knows that it exists. And so people are, I mean, I'm seeing tweets about it constantly. And as I said, 25,000 copies a day now. So it's yeah, and I'm, I'm going to say I like Windows 10. I mean, it, it's 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 not that we're a you might not like Windows 10 for the privacy reasons, but uh, it's not so much that it's something. And I I know Paul loves Windows 10. It's not so much that we're saying oh you don't want Windows 10. You should have the right to choose, and right. no company should ever trick you, trick you into installing an upgrade like that. It's a massive upgrade. It does break some systems. It does break some software. It should but not be But mostly it's you. for for grandmothers yeah. who are like have figured out how to use cry. 7. Yeah, it makes me it, cry. It, it's yeah. not like an iOS update 9.3.2 goes to 9.3.3 right. where nothing changes essentially. The the move from 7 to 10 is like what happened? <laughs> I mean, it's just like, wow. And Paul used a term in a, he, he posted over the weekend before this, the, this, this morning's posting where, and he used a, just exactly the right term. He talked about windows enthusiasts. And I thought, yeah, I like that because that's not me. I am a user. Yeah. I'm, you know, if for me, it's a tool, but I get it. I mean, that, Someone could just want to play with the latest and greatest, a Windows enthusiast. And so, of course, you're going to want Windows 10. And you and you wanted 8 and 8.1, and you're going to follow the train. And for me, it's like, I want stability. I don't want, I just want it to run my programs and for, you know, for me to use it as a tool. An enthusiast here, I'm not. So, but I, I, I liked that differentiation that he made over the weekend. I thought that was really good because, you know, he is one, um, and and a lot of people who are using Windows 10 is like, yeah, I want the latest Windows. Right. Cool. Yeah, but you and should get to choose. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll just I'll just also say that uh, I've listened to you guys. I think it was last week. What you know, wondering whether the upgrade would end. That is, are they going to terminate it? And they I say have they're going to gonna make people pay uh, on July, starting July 29th. So. And I have to, yeah, and. And I have to think that with this much backlash, with this, I mean, Microsoft can't be deaf to this, to everything that's being written. Uh, Brad, uh, it, it looks like uh, Kekos, C-H-A-C-O-S, uh, who's the senior editor of PC World, he said, uh, uh, he, he wrote that it is a nasty trick. He said, so after more than half a year of teaching people that the only way to say no thanks to Windows 10 is to exit the GWX application and refusing to allow users to disable the pop-up in any obvious manner, now they, oh, so that they had to press X over and over again during those six months to the point that most people probably just click it without oh, reading. they've trained you, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Microsoft 
just made it so that very behavior accepts the Windows 10 upgrade instead. Wow. Rather than canceling it. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Oh. That's a good point. It's a nasty yeah. trick. So anyway, I have to think Microsoft is aware of this and they're going to go, okay, fine. Message received. We gave everybody a year. No excuse. If you do, you know you didn't want it for free, fine. We're gonna stop pushing it on you. So I have to think they'll they'll take it away. I don't know if there's um, a lot of evidence for that. They they yeah. people have been screaming about this for months. 